console stuff to begin. Oh, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. Now, I did a little poll in a little Facebook group, and uh, the majority vote ended up being for Crash Bandicoot 2 as the next series to replace Catherine. I just want to let you guys know, I am really, 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 really bad at Crash Bandicoot 2, so I'm probably going to die, like, a lot. Don't, don't expect me to be anything decent. I'm like, meh. I'm not going for 100%, that's for sure. I will only be trying to get, you know... Like, through the main game, I will try and fight Cortex and beat him, and that's it. After that, I'm done. Not going back to get 100%. Not even gonna fucking try. And then after this, I'm probably gonna do, like, Spyro or something. Or maybe I'll move on to Crash 3. Crash? Crash, my battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Alright, so this level here, actually, you would not be able to play if you skip that opening cutscene, fun fact. I was always very vexed by that. Now we just gotta kind of wait. Jump. There you go. And, of course, this is also kind of like a tutorial. Ah, oh, shit. Wow, I really fucked that up. It's kind of like a tutorial level here, like, uh... Just kind of a really simple, basic level. You can also slide now. They gave Crash new stuff to use in this in this game. Because they also have like a whole lot new... whole lot more like surprises in store for them. I'm gonna real quick grab these boxes. I will sometimes maybe try to go for gems. But I'm not going to go like out of my way. Especially not for like the secret gems. expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. I wonder if maybe the uh, volume is a little low. Let me turn it up a bit. That might do. Let me turn it down a bit. Uh, let me check the options menu here. Sound options, yeah. Alright, the volume's all the way up. I don't know how loud it is for you guys. It's pretty low on my end, and I keep forgetting that I cannot use the analog stick to run. Which is another thing I, I never really liked about the Crash Bandicoot games. So, let me know whether or not it's like too loud or whatever, or blah blah blah. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead go and go through our first level, Turtle Woods. Which is essentially pretty much the same as that last little bit that we were going through. But, uh, I actually really like Turtle Woods, you know, as especially as a starting level. It's like my probably my favorite, just the raininess and all the... I don't know why, it's just I like this level probably the most out of all the Crash Bandicoot levels. Or at least in this game. It might be... Might actually be my favorite level in all the Crash games now that I think about it. But, you know. Kind of weird that the first level of any game is like your favorite. But then again, I'm also weird. So, I really don't care. <laughs> Not gonna fuck with you yet. Gonna go with you. And then you. And now we'll fuck with you. I completely fucked that up. <laughs> yeah, I love these games, especially the crash. Oh wait, I should have jumped on that shit. Oh well, whatever. 
I love these games and the Spyro games a lot when I was a kid. But, like, especially the uh, Spyro games. Oh, wow. I'm surprised we didn't get hit there. But yeah. The Spyro games, man, I am actually... <clears throat> Really am looking forward to doing those because uh, that's like a nostalgia trip and a half for me. Like when I do those games, dude, I'm going to be fucking coming at you with all kinds of nostalgia shit. Oh, hey, we made it. I didn't actually think we were going to. I don't think I need you, do I? Probably not. Probably do. Never mind. Alright, noted. We need that box. We do not need this one, though. Well, you know what? Maybe if we slide and jump... Yeah, there we go. Alright, we have to be quick about never- shit. Well, we ain't getting those boxes, so we fucked up already. Oh, well, fuck it. I hate doing that shit anyway. Stupid fucking birds. Oh, you're the spiky little turtle. Hey, fuck you. Hey, you know, I'm just gonna casually stroll past y'all. I might as well do the bonus level, try to get some more lives to replace the one I so stupidly lost. Oh, it's really not that great of a bonus level, huh? Oh, come on. I can get this box. There you go. Onward, Crash! Onward! The victory! And hopefully not painful, spiky impalement. By the way, one tiny pet peeve I have with this game, <clears throat> or rather specifically people who talk about Crash Bandicoot, <clears throat> it's when they call the fruit peaches. They're not fucking peaches. Like, I can, I can understand why you would think that. I used to think that too when I was like a kid and I played these games and I had no idea. And of course I stopped this fucking turtle at the wrong fucking angle. So I'm gonna have to wait for him now. But uh, they're not called pe- they're not peaches and they're not apples either. They're fucking wumpa fruit they're called apparently. Like anybody with the uh... Oh come on, I can hit you. See? Told you I could. But look, it's a life, so if I skipped over it I would have been fucking screwed. Anyway. <coughs> Yeah, any, apparently, like, the name of the fruit is, uh, like, it was in one of the old game manuals. So, like, if you had the actual game way back in 99, I think this came out, then you would know that they're what they're called. And, uh, you have no real reason to call them peaches. You, you have no excuse. Call them by what the fuck they are, you dick. Like, that's one little pet peeve I have about the shit in here. Yeah, we missed a few boxes. Ah, fuck you. I could always come back and do the no box challenge. But, again, I really don't feel like going out of my way just to get shit. Could rely on you. Now listen carefully. 
These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Alright, so some sketchy shit's going on here with Cortex and uh, him wanting to quote unquote save the world. But uh, we have another little level to do because like I'm not going to sit here and upload a ten and a half minute video and just call it that. No, we're going to do two levels in one episode. Do a bunch of lucky little, uh, lucky little ducks you are. <clears throat> you know, I like this level. It's really cool. <clears throat> Ice, snow. How to uh, get through it pretty well. And over here, you son of a bitch. I will jump on you, motherfucker. You motherfucking whore. Don't you make me fucking slide into you, you son of a bitch. Ah, fuck. And people thought the fucking controls for the Spyro Ice shit was fucking difficult. Aha, now I just have to get away. I also have to try and get this one. Come on, damn it. Oh, fuck you. Wait, stop. There you go. I just remember crouch jumping is a thing in this game. Alright, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm not trying to bother with that fucking one, but I've been on that ice way too long already. Last person to be on ice that long had to fight the Fire Nation. And I don't feel like fighting the Fire Nation. A little above my pay grade, which is actually everything is technically above my pay grade, so I don't have a pay grade. All right, now you see this crystal? Fuck this crystal. Fuck that goddamn gem. I know I just called it a crystal. Oh, and fuck the goddamn plane that's overhead. There's a fucking plane passing my house. In case you guys can't hear it, of course. Maybe I should have jumped on them like stairs. Whoops. Oh, never mind. There we go. Hey, we got it. Oh, 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 oh. Crash, crash. Come on, come on. No, crash! Damn it! You're not supposed to live up to your name, you know. And now we lost Uka Uka. No, I, uh, okay, I can't. So me attempting to go for the stair shit would have been a waste of time anyway. Ah, fuck you, come on. 
There you go. Yay! We actually have quite a few lives. I'm genuinely surprised I have not died yet. Like, seriously. Well, I mean, I've, I've technically died. No, no, I, I did die that one time legitimately. But I'm surprised I haven't been dying more often, is what I mean to say. Come on, get off the ice. Ah, oh, fuck you. Hey, we got the crystal at least. Ah, fuck you, pangolin. Jumped over you. Yep. Oh god, fuck off. Okay, where's the like, <clears throat> is there supposed to be like a box I'm supposed to like spin to uh, make those other two thingies like, oh, is this it, is it up here, I'm pretty sure I actually think it is, yeah there you go, alright cool, so I just have to not fuck this up. Oh look, it's alive. 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 What? Woo! Oh boy. Eh, fuck off. Haha, I got gotcha, you, bitch. Alright. That's two levels in one video. I think that's a pretty solid episode. Of course, uh, we should be having a cutscene right about here. <clears throat> yep, there we go. Alright. I love Crash's little victory dance, though. I know you hear that one. <clears throat> Believe me, if there was something I could do about that, I would do something. Hey, yeah, basically that guy just wants us to collect the gems uh, instead of the crystals. And, you know, blah. But we also kind of have to collect the crystals because it's part of the game. We'll save here. Uh, just go. Soul. That's not a. That's not a you. This is. There we go. Oh no! No, fuck you. Hey, fuck you, dick. So touchy these goddamn buttons. Anyway, <clears throat> that'll be it for the first episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you on the next episode where we will take on two more levels in Crash Bandicoot 2. The uh, Hang 8 and the Pits levels. Maybe even play Crash Dash and then we'll be fighting a boss after that. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.